Around 40 firefighters are tackling a major blaze at Falmouth Docks in Cornwall. At least two gas cylinders have exploded and officers say more are at risk. On the line now is Inspector Mark Bolt from Devon and Cornwall Police. Inspector Bolt, just tell us uh, what's inside these cylinders. They'll be the uh, oxyacetylene type cylinders that dockyards would have um, for doing their um, welding. And two of them have exploded so far. Uh, how are you trying to keep the others uh, out of the way so that they don't go up as well? That, that's the role of the fire brigade. Um, the police's role is to try and keep people safe. We're putting the cordons on and evacuating people from their, their houses within the cordon. And how many people have you had to move? Um, the exact figures are unknown. We've, we've got 150 students that we've taken out of, of their accommodation and moving into place of safety. There's currently a multi-agency meeting taking place um, to discuss whether we need to extend the cordon, whether the cordon needs to stay on, um, and we're trying to find safe places for these people to go. How big is this exclusion zone that you've uh, put in place? Well, it's, it's 300 metres from the, the centre of the, um, uh, of the incident, um, but bearing in mind that it's, because it's a dockyard, that a lot of that 300 metres will actually be out into the, um, the sea. And, of, of course, you're having to work uh, very closely with the, the fire service. What are they telling you about uh, the progress that they're making? That's, uh, well, that, that's been discussed at the moment um, within the multi-agency meeting that's taking place. Uh, I'm not party to that. And where have you, uh, have you, what kind of arrangements have you made then for, for all of these people? Clearly they've got to move pretty quickly because of the danger. With any place such as a dock, we do have a contingency plan um, that is well thought out beforehand. We've currently um, putting that into place so that we've got refs or we've got centres um, such as um, hotels that are offering accommodation uh, and we're opening those up and then trying to keep a record of where everybody is um, so that as soon as we know that the cordon can be taken off, then we can notify them and they can go back to their homes. And just uh, finally, no reports of anybody been injured at the moment? No, none that I've been made aware of at this time. Excellent. Inspector Mark Bolt from Devon and Cornwall Police, thank you. Now let's go back to our top story. The government confirming later that it plans to link the public...